Cop orders. Black girl to open her trunk. He has no idea she's secretly recording him. In the picturesque state of North Carolina, the town of Willow Creek was known for its lush greenery and charming, tight-knit community. However, beneath the serene surface, racial tension simmered quietly, occasionally manifesting in troubling encounters. One such incident involved a teenage girl named Aliyah. It was a sunny afternoon, and Aliyah had just finished her piano lesson. At 16, she was a bright, ambitious girl who loved driving her sleek black sedan, a gift from her father for her birthday. She was heading home when she noticed a police cruiser tailing her. Initially, she didn't think much of it, but when the siren blared, she knew she was being pulled over. License and registration, please, the officer barked as he approached her window. Aaliyah handed over the documents, her heart pounding. She had done nothing wrong yet the officer's demeanor was aggressive. Officer Kyle Roberts was known for his strict, often overly harsh enforcement of the law. He had a history of targeting minorities, a fact that many in Willow Creek were aware of, but few dared to challenge openly. After examining her documents, Officer Roberts demanded she step out of the car and open the trunk. Aaliyah's heart sank. She had nothing to hide, but the way he asked made her uneasy. She remembered her father's advice. Always record your encounters with the police. Discreetly, she started the recording app on her phone. Is there a problem, officer? She asked, trying to keep her voice steady. Just open the trunk, he repeated, a hint of impatience in his voice. Aaliyah complied, stepping out and opening the trunk. It was empty, except for a spare tire and some emergency supplies. Officer Roberts began rummaging through her belongings, his actions becoming increasingly invasive. Why are you searching my car? she asked, her voice shaking. Routine check, he replied curtly. As he continued to search, he muttered under his breath, a car like this? A black girl like you must be stealing it. No way you could afford it. Aaliyah felt a rush of anger and humiliation but remained silent knowing her phone was capturing every word. As Officer Roberts continued his unwarranted search, Aaliyah's phone, tucked away in her pocket, captured everything. She hoped that recording the incident would provide some protection against any false accusations or inappropriate conduct. After several minutes, Officer Roberts, finding nothing, grew visibly frustrated. You can go, he said, his voice dripping with annoyance. Aaliyah, still shaken, got back into her car and drove home. She couldn't believe what had just happened. As soon as she arrived, she told her father everything. Captain Marcus Hughes was not only the richest police captain in the state, but also a staunch advocate for justice and equality. He was furious when he heard about the incident. He knew he had to take immediate action. The next day, Captain Hughes walked into the Willow Creek Police Department. His presence commanded respect and attention. He requested a meeting with Officer Roberts and the Chief of Police. When Officer Roberts walked into the meeting room and saw Captain Hughes, his face paled. He hadn't realized that the girl he had harassed was the captain's daughter. Officer Roberts, we need to talk. Captain Hughes began, his tone icy. Do you remember pulling over a black sedan yesterday? Officer Roberts stammered. Yes, sir, I do. That was my daughter, Aaliyah, and she recorded the entire encounter, Hughes said, placing Aaliyah's phone on the table. Explain yourself. Caught off guard, Officer Roberts tried to defend his actions, claiming it was a routine stop, but the recording told a different story, one of unnecessary aggression, racial profiling, and offensive assumptions. Captain Hughes played the recording for the police chief who listened in growing disbelief. This is unacceptable behavior, the chief said, turning to Officer Roberts. We do not tolerate such actions in our department. Officer Roberts was suspended pending an internal investigation. Captain Hughes wasn't satisfied with just disciplinary action. He wanted to address the systemic issues within the department. Captain Hughes called a press conference to address the incident and the broader issues it highlighted. 
The room was packed with reporters, community leaders, and residents eager to hear what he had to say. Good afternoon, Captain Hughes began. Yesterday, my daughter experienced an unfortunate and unacceptable incident involving one of our officers. This behavior is not reflective of the values we uphold in our department. We are committed to justice, equality, and serving our community without prejudice. He announced a series of reforms aimed at increasing transparency, including mandatory body cameras for all officers, enhanced racial sensitivity training, and a citizen review board to oversee complaints against the police. The community's response was overwhelmingly positive. Many saw this as a turning point, a chance to rebuild trust between the police and the residents of Willow Creek. In the following weeks, the internal investigation into Officer Roberts' conduct revealed a pattern of similar complaints. He was ultimately dismissed from the force, a clear message that such behavior would not be tolerated. Aaliyah's bravery in recording the incident and her father's swift action sparked a broader conversation about racial profiling and police misconduct. Other residents came forward with their own stories, prompting further reforms and changes within the department. For Aaliyah, the incident was a profound learning experience. She realized the importance of standing up for oneself and the power of evidence in seeking justice. She was proud of her father's actions and the changes he was implementing. One evening, as they sat together on their porch, Aaliyah turned to her father. Dad, I'm proud of you. Thank you for standing up for what's right. Captain Hughes smiled, wrapping an arm around her. I'm proud of you, too, Aaliyah. You showed incredible courage. Together, we can make a difference. The story of Aaliyah and Captain Hughes spread beyond Willow Creek, inspiring other communities to take similar steps towards justice and equality. It became a testament to the impact that one person's courage and another's commitment to fairness can have on an entire community. In the end, Willow Creek emerged stronger, more united, and determined to ensure that every resident, regardless of their race, felt safe and respected. Aaliyah's experience served as a catalyst for change, proving that even in the face of adversity, positive transformation is possible. What would you have done in Aaliyah's situation? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.